Um, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about how we use uh, AI at zero height. This is obviously a huge topic, and we could do entire webinars on this. So I'm going to keep it fairly high level. Um, just to, I guess, say we're fairly early in our journey with AI at zero height. Um, we're deliberately like balancing, I guess, adopting these new technologies and the opportunities they present with the very like legitimate. Uh, privacy and ethical concerns that comes with AI. Um, but I think that probably the easiest way to show what I'm talking about is to maybe do a live demo um, and hope that this works. Um, please, everyone, cross your fingers when it comes to live demos. It should all be fine, but who knows? Um, yeah, I guess our like philosophy with AI at zero height is that we, um, at least to begin with, we want it to do the kind of laborious, maybe heavy lifting tasks that are relatively generic and shared across lots of design system sites. So there's a lot of patterns within design system documentation sites. I'm sure you're pretty used to these. Um, what I'm going to show here is how we can use our AI assistant to help you write something like an introductory par paragraph for a component. So I'm going to say, um, write a short intro for a button component. Um, now that's going to go off to um, use OpenAI. We're using um, GPT uh, 4.0 model, so like the latest model from OpenAI, and that's going to bring that back straight away. We do a little bit of magic behind the scenes to tell it that this is um, for design system documentation. So we give it a few extra kind of refining prompts, um, and then the response that comes back should be appropriate for design system documentation. Um, you can see here it's brought back a quick paragraph giving an introduction to a button. And then I think typically we would recommend best practices, obviously review the stuff, check it's accurate, check it's relevant to, um, to your organization and your documentation site. And then from there, you can kind of adapt it to however you want it. Or if you're happy with it, just move on and keep going. And I think our philosophy is that if you're doing this with, say, hundreds of components, and you're having to fill up lots of documentation pages. Um, AI can just make that so much easier to get started and get it to a point where, especially for teams starting out, if you've got nothing, you can get it to a pretty comprehensive um, fleshed out documentation site, uh, hopefully within minutes or days rather than weeks or months. 